Day one of the ceasefire was anything but peaceful along parts of the Syria-Turkey border. Shelling and intermittent clashes continue to be reported around Rash Alain. The fighting eased mid-morning and the five-day ceasefire agreed by Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan and US Vice President Mike Pence appears to be holding. It's designed to allow the Kurds to retreat, which is exactly what Erdogan wanted. It comes after Donald Trump's bizarre letter to Erdogan saying, don't be a fool. We won't forget the letter, said Erdogan. What is necessary will be done when the time is right, he said. Erdogan also detailed plans to occupy the so-called safe zone in Syria even after the conflict. In Washington, Trump sang the praises of a situation triggered by his decision to pull U.S. troops from the region. Uh, so you have the Kurds who we're dealing with and are very happy about the way things are going, I must say. Uh, the Kurds. The Kurds, of course, are stuck in the middle of this multi-layered political brawl. <laughs> this is 13-year-old Mohammed on Thursday before the ceasefire. Experts say his skin shows the signs of chemical burns. The Kurds blame Turkish-backed forces. <laughs> the international chemical weapons watchdog, the OPCW, is investigating. It has previously accused the Syrian government of using chemical weapons on its own people. President Bashar al-Assad called those attacks fabrications by the West. For these Turkish kids across the border, this war is new and exciting. It's likely been a very long time since any Syrian children felt that way. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.